Hi everyone, I'm back. I'm going to do the video on Talika Patrick right now. Um, basically, what happened was she told one of her, asked one of her co-workers for a ride to a hotel. He dropped her off and while they were going on the way to drop her off, she mentioned that she had left her wallet. So he loaned her $100 and um, took her to the hotel, dropped her off. When she gets to the hotel, she doesn't have enough money, and so they turn her away. She catches the hotel shuttle back to the parking lot of the uh, hospital hotel. I mean, the hospital. And she jumps into her car. The last person to actually physically see her alive was the driver of the tr the shuttle. He said that he saw her ducking in between the cars like someone was chasing her or like she was hiding from someone. So then after that, she drives her car. She gets on the highway. And other people sit in their car said that they had saw a car that looked like hers uh, driving weird on the highway. So they called the police. The police arrive and they see her car. She's not in it. The only thing that's in there is, I think, like an ID or something like that. But she's not there. The car is unlocked, and they're able to get in. They send out the dogs to try to search for her. And the trail runs cold at the road. Like, she got out of her car and walked on the road. And someone picked her up. They found her body last week. In between them finding her body... And I'm searching for her. This whole spill from her tweets and YouTube and Facebook, all of this information comes about out that she say hi to meet you. You gonna say hi? Are you gonna say hi? Not me. Say hi. Okay, bye. Anyway, so this whole spiel comes out about her ha being <laughs> just don't mind, don't pay him any attention because I'm going to get this video done today. And it's his nap time, and he ducked it. <laughs> so, okay, so they talked about how um, she had an infatuation with Marvin Sapp, the gospel singer. And he even went to get a restraining order on her because she was calling and making, saying that she was going to marry, she wanted to marry him and all of this stuff. But she never actually physically got close to this man. She was doing all this through email and telephone. He was never a suspect. Apparently, he was questioned by the police, and that was not a a lead on the case, so they left it alone. Um. They found her body last week. Of a guy was on his boat, and apparently he saw a body floating, and he called the police. And they sent it to the medical examiner. The medical examiner did a autopsy, and the autopsy concluded, the evidence concluded that it was her. Um, what's crazy to me, like I said, the first red flag was that the 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 um the dogs didn't go in the area that was in the direction of this pond. They went towards the road, which is away from the pond. Why? The second thing is it's on between the pond and the, the road, the highway. So you just can't jump. It's not something that you would be able to jump to get across. And it's, it wasn't cut for her to get into it. She had her keys in her pocket. This child didn't try to commit suicide. Who thinks to have their keys in their pocket when they commit suicide? Or, you know, someone is going to say that it's a, a habit. When you get out of the car, you turn the car on. But if she was really trying to commit suicide, wouldn't she just have just did it with her car? I mean, she was already in the car. Why would you get out of the car? So I don't think it was an act of suicide. That's my personal opinion. I'm not a CI. I don't work for the police department, and I damn sure don't talk to the, to missing persons 
investigators to figure out what's going on. I just think that it's weird. She's no longer a missing person. They're going to have her funeral on the 25th. Her body is being flown back to Florida where her parents live. It's just a sad story overall. I, I don't even... Never mind, Dimitri. I don't even understand how this is happening. There are many, many, many people. Every day somebody is popping up missing and... You don't really hear about it. I'm surprised they even talked about this story as long as they did because usually you only get a blip and then it's over. It's done. They don't really care. Like, um, Relisha. I'm going to do a video on Relisha in a few seconds as soon as I can get somebody to calm down. Um, we still haven't found the, the, the missing teenager from Richmond. From, not that she wasn't even from Richmond, from Virginia. Um, her, apparently they, they got somebody, the, the guy that they found on her case, he's in custody and they've been having a trial, which, it's not a murder platform, they already have a platform, well, this is my platform for my people, okay, as much as, as much, my goal on my channel now is to get as much awareness on missing people and weird things that are going on in our community as I possibly can because nobody else is doing it. Um, that's just a sad, honest truth. We don't care enough about our people to want to help. I mean, you can say you want to help all day, but what, are, what really are you doing Bye. to help? Bye. You have to Bye. make your Bye. actions. A whole lot louder than your words when it comes to things like this because help is not just sitting there and saying, oh, I'm going to forward the picture. You can forward the picture and that'll get to maybe all your friends, 300. But how many of them are going to forward the picture? And how many people on your news feed really, really sit there and realize what's going on? A lot of times if you actually look on your news feed, how many people are doing the same thing that you're doing? A lot of the time, it's people that you haven't even talked to in years that y'all found each other on Facebook. Y'all not even doing the same thing and you still friends with them. Yeah, they might share it. But nine times a ten, they're going to keep passing. Unless it's something crazy, somebody's sex tape, somebody's blip on 106 and Park, all of this stuff going on, and you know what I'm saying? It's real world situations going on. I, just today, I'm going to record on that too. From, I'm going to talk about that in a little bit. The um, cruise, they missing 300 people. First it was a plane, now it's a, a boat. They missing 300 people. They don't know where these folks are. Now, all I'm going to say is this is some crazy stuff. And I'm not going to call it the end of the world because this is not the, the place nor the time for that. I just feel like y'all better be more aware. Make yourself aware. And if you're not going to read the news, I'm going to read it and report it to you. So stay tuned. I'll see y'all later. Bye.